all kinds of different types of items. This particular client needs to have their uh, hardware subdued. So we're taking the hardware and we're heating it up to break off all the residue and all the slack that's put on hardware originally from the factory. So we get it prepped to put it into our uh, polisher to polish it up some and take off some of the abrasion, break it down so we can subdue it. neighborhood ghost here opening and shutting the door. So the next stage that we're going to be doing is taking the product after it's cooled down to room temperature because you don't want it steaming hot like it was underneath the torch. And we're going to place them into our tumblers here with our medium in there to uh, do our uh, polishing up, taking off any of the re excess residue that's on there. You only put so many in there because they do weigh a fair amount of weight, depending on what the product is. sessions here, a bit of a time lapse here on the last section here, and uh, this is where we clean the stuff to make sure that uh, there's no medium, this corn cob stuff, up and stuck in there, pull it out of our media here, and as we have it. Doesn't look like there's much done, but what we've done is we haven't taken the chroming off. What we've done is we've taken the lacquer that we put on the outside to preserve it. So that way when we paint it over with our special solution, it's going to darken it up. And give it a, a bluish black apparel. So, there's too many in there. We want to make sure that everything works and functions properly, that nothing's caught in, like that a little bit caught in there. Just like when you're doing cases for ammunition. And then from here, we're taking the other room, and you're going to get to see us. Uh, putting our special finish on it, starting to subdue it. So on this almost the last process, there's a one more process after this, we're actually putting our solution on there and you can see how it changes fairly quickly. It's a little bit of a slower process. Now some folks would say, well, why don't you just take a container and dip everything into it, submerge it all the way together. Well, <clears throat> one of the main reasons I don't do that is because in the past we have tried that. <clears throat> and we found that the solution gets onto the spring in the mechanisms and uh, weakens the spring. It's the same reason why we don't drop these into our forge and heat them up in the forge nice and fancy. Uh, because... We um, don't want to take the case hardening of the spring out. If you heat it up, that's one thing, but if you get it into a forge and get it red hot toasty, you're going to take that hardening of the spring and the springs will snap easy. The elasticity of the spring, I guess you could call Either way, that's one of the reasons why we don't. And, uh, 
see these little areas like this. They'll eventually work their way through and darken up. I may have to go back and hit that with a piece of sandpaper, but it's very few and far between. See over here some that I've already done. And sitting here. A nice rich. Here's coming rich. There's one from before. Here's some buckles we did from before. There's some rings we did from before. So now we're at the final video of portion. And you can we boiled them up and that way they're all ready to go. <laughs> Slippery. And uh, you remember what they looked like before. Now they look like this. All nicely subdued. I'll wipe them off a little bit more and they'll get a little bit more matted. So remember, you dream it, we make it. BeavermountWorks.com Like us, share us, and subscribe. Take care now.